Hello YouTube, this is Mag Morano, and I've been getting a ton of requests asking how to overclock, if overclocking is safe, if she, people should root to overclock, if it's worth it, all sorts of random stuff. So right now, I am just going to go over all of it so you guys can know, and um, well, I'm still going to get the questions, but whatever, at least I'll have an answer that I can point to. <clears throat> First of all, to overclock, you need to be rooted. Uh, what overclocking is, is basically speeding up the speed of your... Um, CPU, your central processing unit, inside your device. Um, now, you're probably like, well, that, that can't be safe. They're set to a certain limit for a reason. Um, well, actually, the way CPUs work in today's kind of marketing society is they're capable of about 50% more power, but they're restricted for um, reasons because, you know, the companies have to be making uh, stronger processors all the time. And if they can't, well, they can just take the old one uh, up the frequency and they can, um, you know, like influence people to buy it because it's running at a higher frequency even though it's the same processor. Um, so that's basically, they, they start off at like a low clock speed, they work their way up, and then they go on to a next generation. <clears throat> you probably noticed that with uh, Tegra 3. Um, some devices have it running at 1.3 gigahertz, one at one, some at 1.6, some at 1.7. It's the same processor, don't be fooled. You can overclock it to the same amount. You just need to have the right kernel. Uh, now, what's the kernel? The kernel is what you're going to need to overclock. The kernel, as you can see here, basically controls how much power is given to the CPU, to the screen, to the GPU, all that stuff. Um, so this is going to control how much power you give to it, how much, how fast you let it go. <clears throat> now, if you're rooted and if you're running a custom ROM, there is a chance you might already have a um, overclocked kernel built-in, like I'm running Team EOS. If I go into System and Performance, um, where is it? Max Frequency. As you can see, it goes over the 1000, which is the default. It goes up to 1600, which is pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I would recommend not going more than 40% more than um, what the original boot frequency is, uh, just because that's kind of keeping it safe. Um, if you're only 40% over, it shouldn't overheat. You shouldn't have any issues. Um, oops, a little bright. You shouldn't have any issues, um, crashes, stuff like that. Um, so that's just like the safest thing. You can always go higher, but um, if you go too high, it will make it unstable and it will actually make it worse. Um, you'll have like choppy animation, stuff like that, and nobody wants that. So um, keep within reason. I'd say between 20 and 40% is a good overclock value. Um, now, if you do not have this overclock built-in ROM, or if you're running stock, what you're going to do is you're going to go to my favorite kernel right here. It gets updated so often. It's a great kernel. It still has some issues with the uh, sleeping of death and shutting off, but everything does. For some reason, the transformer, once it upgraded to ICS, it just had so many issues with that. Um, but this definitely gets the closest to fixing it. I've noticed the least amount of issues with this. Um, this kernel, it's um, ICS test OC, comma, OV version 21.4 currently. Um, basically, I don't know how to search it. Um, if you go to here, I guess that's how you can find it. It doesn't really have like an official name. I wish they named the kernel so that you can find it a lot easier. But you know, no big deal. Scroll down, it gives you the whole change log, and then all the newest downloads, newest being 21.4. And it also has something, uh, if you're using Megatron, um, that's a, a specific kernel. These are meant for stock, AOKP, and CyanogenMod9. They will work on others, that's just what they're meant for, that's what they'll work best for. Um, I'm running TeamOS, which is like a barely modified stock, so it'll probably work on mine. Um, so to do downloads, you just click on it, obviously. So let me just go ahead and download that for you guys. Um, it's not too big, only about 7 megabytes, so it shouldn't take long to download. Although I'm uploading a video right now, so I'm probably going to have to eat my words. Yep. What do you know? So I'm not going to wait, um, but as you can see, I already have version two or 20 excuse me, installed. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to flash that, and you should know how to flash things by now if you've been rooted. You're going to reboot into recovery. Uh, with this ROM, it's got like a little shortcut thingy. But you know, normally you have to hold volume down and the power button while you're turning on, and that'll boot you in. But once it goes... 
Any second now, you're just gonna flash it like you would anything else. Install zip from SXT card, choose zip, download it. That's not actually complete, so that'd be awful. Download it, hit yes, and boom, done. Not gonna do it because I am doing a ROM test, if you know. And um, that would screw up the results for this ROM because I'm running it stock kernel, stock everything. I don't want to change it until I'm done with the testing. But once I'm done with the testing for this, I move on to Revolver. It's a big mess. It's taking forever. <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. I have some very good statistics, and um, it's really going to help people when they come to picking out a uh, ROM for their Asus Transformer. <clears throat> so there we go. We booted up. Oops. As you can see, I got the uh, nice face unlock there. But nope, I'm not going to unlock it because it's too dark. Um, another thing, a lot of people have been saying they want to see my face. Um, but you know, my birthday's coming up soon. Maybe I'll give all you guys a present while I'm opening my surprise. Hint, hint. But, you know, I just lied because I'm getting a surprise. That's kind of for you guys, kind of for me. But I'm not going to get it until mid-July, so be patient. Um, anyway, so once you have that kernel installed, getting back on track here, uh, you can get multiple apps to overclock your device. The one I would recommend most is CPU... Con oh, shit, I forget. CPU. S-E-E-C-P-U. There we go. I just completely... Oh my god. Set CPU... I'm a freaking idiot. <clears throat> low siento. Low, 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 low. There we go. This is the best app you can get. It will cause the least amount of problems. It's the easiest to use. It gives you the most features. It's two bucks. It's definitely worth it. Get it, get it. Yes, get it. Um, but don't get it right away. Hold on a sec. <laughs> because if you are running custom uh, ROMs, a lot of them have performance overclocking built in. Like as you can see here, I can set the min, max frequency, and uh, values. It's not <clears throat> too much to set. You can't set voltages like that to save battery, but um, you know it's pretty good, and it's free, and it's built in, so it's gonna be the best integrated. But if you don't have something built in, or if you're running stock, definitely get Set CPU. It is the best app you can get for rooting. As you can tell, 4.7 stars, and it costs two bucks. Usually paid apps aren't rated good unless they truly are good and this one truly is good I promise you I have used um not the official version I haven't bought it but I've used um cracked versions and it's really good really worth it I would buy it um but I'm always using custom ROMs so they usually have overclocking built in but that's pretty much it for overclocking so if you have any more questions about it feel free to leave a comment below I'm pretty sure I mentioned just about everything but you know just in case you can always ask me questions I'll try to answer within a day or two um, and that's pretty much it, and I apologize again for there not being too many, um, Android videos out recently. Um, I've been doing the ROM testing, and it is really hard to, um, do videos when I keep having to wipe everything to install a new ROM and test it, and, um, but that'll be done. I keep saying it'll be done in a week. I don't know if it'll be done in a week. Um, you know what? Give it time. <laughs> it'll be done soon. Don't worry. Um, plus it's almost summer, so once it gets to summer, I will be able to zoom through it, no problem. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later.